Let's have a look at some more options that are available. Colon W exclamation mark allows you to write to a read-only file, if it is a read-only file that is owned by you. If it's a file that's owned by somebody else and made read-only, you can't make changes to it using that particular technique. Now I have a uh, read-only file that's called another.txt. It's owned by me, so that's OK. Notice at the bottom it says read-only. So I'll make some changes to it. Just start typing in some uh, text. Now that I've typed that text in, I do use colon W, and it tells me the read-only option is set and use exclamation mark to override, which I will do, colon W exclamation mark, and it successfully writes the file. Colon E, space file, which means open another file. E for edit, edit another file. Now again, it will only allow you to do that if you have not made any changes. If you have made some changes, use colon W to save them before you open the next file. The reason being, and this is quite important, please take note that in VI, you can only be editing one file at a time. You can't have two different files open, both with changes made to them, and both requiring saves before you can exit VI. You can only do one of those at a time. VI can actually keep track of several different file names for you, but you can actually only be editing one of them at any given moment. If you want to edit another file, you've got to save the changes or abandon the changes in the first one. So if you want to open another file, use E colon file, sorry, colon E space file, or if you want to abandon the changes, E exclamation mark space file. Here I am in the file, I'll make some more modifications to it. Okay, and now I'll edit another file, new.file for example, no write since last change, so I could save that now, colon W, oh that's right, this is a read-only file, so I've used colon W exclamation mark, and then E, new.file and then it opens new.file. Interestingly you can use colon e hash or as a shortcut key for that control 6 to open the last file that you edited. In other words switch back to whatever it is whatever file you just came from and you can repeatedly use those two uh, options to switch back and forth just bang bang back forth back forth back forth between two files. I simply type colon e hash colon E hash, colon E hash, or alternatively a little faster I can just do control 6, control 6, control 6, control 6, and so on back and forth and back and forth. Now assuming that you started VI with several files on the command line, you need to be able to move through all the different files that you specified on that command line. If I start VI with uh, star.html now, there's supposedly several files on the list that I am going to be able to be editing, and this is just the first one. Remember I said you can only edit one file simultaneously, but you can actually have a list of files that you're going to be editing, and that's what's happening here. I'm editing in the middle of editing the first one, but the remaining ones are still, if you like, in the list of files to be edited. So I can use colon N or colon n exclamation mark to move on to the next file. So I can finish making all my changes in this file, save my changes using colon w, and then use colon n to move on to the next one. So I would do colon n, and then colon n again, and then colon n again, until I run out of, can't go beyond last file. Now, interestingly, there's actually no way of going backwards through the list. You can only go forwards through the list. So what if I wanted to go to one of the earlier files? Well, the only way I can do that is to rewind REW back to the beginning of the list again, which takes me back to the very first file. And then I can do colon N and colon N through the list again. Don't forget, of course, that you do have the option of going back and having a look at the previous file that you were just looking at using colon E hash which just takes you back to whatever you were in a second ago. Finally, colon F will simply display the details about the current file you're in. What's the file name, what line number you're on, and so on. And you can also use control G to do exactly the same thing. Notice that on the slide in front of you, control G is specified as a little uh, up hat symbol, or I'm using up hat or the, the
caret symbol to represent control character and that's very common notation used in Unix. So that little symbol followed by the G you can read that as being control G. Anyway those two key combinations display the current file details. I'll just quickly show you that. So to find where I am in the current file I might go down to a certain point in the file and do colon F and it tells me the file name I'm in and how many lines are in the file what percentage of the way through the file I'm in and what number of the list of files I'm in are in the third of six files. Okay, well that just about does it for manipulating files in Vi. In the next module we'll have a look at how to edit any one of these individual files.